metamax okay so make sure you watch this video till the end so that you not do any mistakes now this is my metamax wallet i have opened it as you can see it right now now the next thing to do is to click on this menu bar and click on browser okay now when you click on browser you need to load the nfg website the website will be available in the description button so this is where you put in the website when you click here you will put in the website and load it so i have already loaded and that is why you are seeing it like this okay now you will click on connect to connect your wallet if you are connecting for the first time so if you are not connecting for the first time it will connect automatically now you will click on trade you need to click on this trade when you click on it it will load trade for you so guys you will need to use uh, usdt or w core to swap on this lfg okay so i already have w core if you don't have w core make sure you change this place to w core in order to get it so either you use w core or usdt so for me i will be using w core okay now this is my w core if you don't have this w core i will i will drop the wallet address in the description button as well So this is w core when you activate it you will, you will paste the wallet address here and you will import it so i've already done that so you just need to click on it so when you import w call like this you will need to swap your call so you must have call you need to swap your call to w call so i've already done that i've already done that and you can see that i have 6.7 w call so when you are done having this you will need to continue to liquidity so for those that don't know how to do it when you when call is at the bottom is at the top like this w call will be at the bottom so you type the amount of call you want to swap to w call when you are done you will click on you will click on swap okay you will click on swap so you will confirm the transaction and you will at the end of the day you have your w call okay now when you are done having the w call you will click on liquidity this is liquidity right here so let us click on it right now and see what will happen so when it loads you will click on add liquidity okay so let us click on add liquidity now this is where you will need to add liquidity to lfg token uh token now you will click here to change this call to you can change it to if you have usdt if you are using usdt or if you are using w call so i am using w call now let us click on w call when you click on w call you will click on your maximum supply so i want to supply all for the lfg liquidity okay now click on lfg don't forget that we have w call at the top while we have lfg at the bottom so you just click on maximum or any amount you want to use so i want to use all and you click on maximum you will scroll down and click on enable w call so you first of all enable it when you enable it you will click on approve so it will approve as you can see right now that it has been submitted and it has been approved now the next thing to do is to click on supply so you just need to click on this supply okay so make sure everything is on maximum so you click on supply let us click on it right now if you ask for another confirmation you click on apply supply so this is the tolerance this is what you will get okay so you click on confirm supply so you need to wait for it to supply the liquidity so when you are done like this you click on confirm click on confirm So guys the liquidity has been supplied successfully as you have seen it right here now when you are done with this you click on n you click on this n then you click on this n you click on farm 
this is the farm right there so when you click on farm you allow it to load a new page so guys that's loaded successfully and uh, now the next thing to do is to click on this uh you scroll down remember we use w core so this is the option right here so if you are using usdt this is the option as well okay so we use w core for the lfg now you click on details and you will click on stake lp okay so when you click on stake lp you will click on maximum when you click on maximum you click on confirm so i'll be clicking on confirm right here so when you click on confirm it's confirming now you will scroll down and click on confirm the transaction has been submitted successfully so guys the transaction has been submitted and here you will see the amount you have staked so far you can see that all i used to stake is 36 usd 36.49 usd so this is my lfgn so far this is where we see it and if you want to harvest it this is where you click to harvest it so guys this is how to stake lfg token on metamax when you are done like this you click on the menu bar to go back to your wallet hi guys in this video i'll be showing you how to unstake your lfg token remember in my last video i did a video on how to stake lfg token and many people have reached me on whatsapp and on my channel that i should do another video on how to unstake the lfg token so guys all you have to do is to watch this video till the end so that you don't do any mistake you click on the menu bar and select browser so when you select browser you will load the lfg website okay that is lfg swap dot finance this is the website right there now what you will do next is after loading like this what you will do you will click on n you can see this n you will click on n and you will click on farm you will click on this farm right there so you allow it to load again you will scroll down to go and look your uh, swap to go and look your stick lfg so remember we use lfg w core when you click on details click on more details right here i have already unstaked my lfg so that's why it's trained like this so you will make sure you harvest your your lfg that is your profits you make sure you harvest it now you will see a minus sign right here and you see a plus sign right here so if you want to unstake you click on the minus sign that is a so i have unstaked my own but i will show up a driver you will click on this minus sign when you click on the minus sign you will type the amount of lfg you want to unstake if you want to unstake all you will type all if you want to unstake some percentage you will type it and you will confirm the transaction so after that you will come back to when you are done when you are done with the uh, transaction when it is approved you will go back to trade so when you go back to trade you will allow it to load you click on liquidity this is the liquidity right here so guys i want you to follow this step so that you don't do any mistake you click on liquidity so when you click on liquidity you will see remove liquidity right here this is because i have already removed my own that's why you're not seeing it so you will see remove liquidity so by the time you remove liquidity when you confirm the transaction when you confirm the transaction they will divide the token into two half of it will be in core you will see it half you will receive half in core and you will receive the remaining 50 percent in lfg so that is very simple guys if you follow this step you get it so when you on stake you will receive 50 percent in core and 50 percent in lfg so guys this is how to on stake your lfg token okay so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any updates all right guys thank you for watching this video see you in my next video